A meantime, tonight, President Trump is negative for coronavirus. That is according to his doctors. And this just two days before he is set to hold a rally right here in Des Moines. Local 5's Eva Anderson looks into the safety precautions the campaign says it's taking and how Des Moines leaders are reacting. Iowans have mixed emotions about President Trump coming to Iowa just weeks before the election and holding an in-person rally. One of you wrote, not a problem, mask up and it's outside. Yet another wrote, he is a public health hazard. So let's talk about what the event will look like and whether it is up to public health standards during a pandemic. Some who have attended his rallies in the past months do not wear masks. If you go to buy a ticket for the rally, it doesn't outline the face covering policy and neither does the initial confirmation email. However, a media release from the Trump campaign told news outlets all attendees will be given a temperature check, masks which they are instructed to wear, and access to hand sanitizer. Some of you texted us and asked, does the Des Moines mask mandate apply to the event? Not really. The land isn't owned by the city. It's owned by the Des Moines Airport Authority. So while masks will be handed out by the campaign, the city won't technically be enforcing the mandate. To us, this is a public health issue. Mayor County, when asked if he has concerns about the public health implications of the event. Obviously, because these are uh, often uh, Central Iowa people that would be attending, and, and many of them probably Des Moines uh, folks. And uh, we don't want them uh, needlessly exposed through not exercising the proper uh, disease control guidelines. He said ahead of the event, the city and the Trump campaign have not had any contact. We haven't heard anything from the campaign itself. The Trump campaign did not respond to a request for comment. A spokesperson for the Des Moines International Airport did say that the Trump campaign confirmed with them that attendees will be receiving a logistical email Tuesday evening with details about the event, and that may include information about masking up, but we have yet to be sure. Reporting in Des Moines, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And the president's son, Don Jr., will be in Iowa tomorrow at 3.30. He'll be speaking at the Capitol, and doors are set to open there at 1 p.m.